Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Runer. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 30 minutes. Enjoy! I wonder if I would have enjoyed Runer more if I had played with the mouse and keyboard rather than the controller. It's a twin stick shooter after all, and dual analog sticks are made for twin stick shooters. It also starts you off with melee weapons. I often forgot that I had to aim in the right direction to be able to smash an enemy in the face with my pipe. You then get guns, but it seems that precision is more important than it is in other games of this genre. That's why I thought it might have been better to use a mouse. I think it's because of the dash. Your character reacts quicker than your foes, and this is illustrated by a slow motion section to kick off every encounter and your ability to not only dash around gunfire, but to plan up to three dashes which can be used to clear the field if the enemy behaves how you anticipated they would. I found myself finger-tied in most encounters. I felt there were too many options, and all of them were not only viable, but necessary. When do I turn on my shield? When should I plan my dashes, and when should I dash freestyle? Should I keep picking up guns off downed foes and firing at enemies, or should I use my melee weapons and dash into them with my shield on? The game encourages quick action. Enemies drop health and new weapons to keep you moving. Late in the first stage, there's even a timer to clear the field, time being added for every successful kill. The tone of the game is one of playing a video game in a cyberpunk future. Your character has been hacked and has been told to kill boss. It turns out you are actually in the headquarters of the mega corporation that runs everything, and the boss you are trying to kill is the CEO. Another hacker interferes and saves you. You're now tracking down who hacked you in the first place. There's a hub world where maps are at specific points so you have to become familiar with the streets. And there's an upgrade system. The more quests you complete and the more karma you acquire, the more you'll be able to augment your abilities. And the game was smooth, but it was too twitchy for my liking. I started playing the second level, trying to clear out a parking garage full of gang members. They wrecked me. Equipped with their own dash, I found myself unable to adapt. Mind you, this was later in the evening after a full day of work, so perhaps my reflexes and attention weren't at adequate levels to appreciate what Runer has to offer. I can see others using these mechanics to pull off some very stylish level clears, possibly aided by a few cans of Red Bull. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.